This playthrough is rated T for teen. In Soviet Russia, Palace infiltrates you! Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts Covenant. In the last episode, we went inside Yuri's soul to unlock Amon. And Albert Simon apparently wasn't such a bad guy after all. He just wanted to save the world from Rasputin. Yeah, talk about a talk about a change in between the games, huh? But anyway, we're now need to infiltrate the palace to defeat Rasputin with the power of Amon. So, Prince, oh yeah, we already talked to Prince Yusupov. Let's see if anyone has any new dialogue. Actually, what happens if you just straight up go to the guards? No. It's no good. We can't get in through the front, so... Okay. Since the kidnapping parliament's been frozen, no one's listening to the troubles of the people. It'll only lead to riots and strikes. They're totally out of touch with the students and the poor. Uh-oh, that's not gonna be good. I heard that some of the aristocracy are opposed to Rasputin. If they would just voice their opinions, maybe they would end the trouble. Yeah, sad, Leonid. Pervert. Fervent. Joseph. Actually, I think they're the same guys as before, so I probably don't need to say their description, so... There's the brothers again. Russia is at war with Germany right now, but it started out as a war between Austria and Serbia. I'm not exactly sure how it all happened, but I'm sure there were a lot of grown-up reasons. Oh, this is not different, so. Okay, well, wait, what did he say? I'm taking a little time to recharge my batteries. It'll come up with a new idea. Yeah, since we got all his dresses, he's not available for a little while, so. Eh, let's see. I don't think there's anything really needed. The only thing I'd say I'd buy before this next section is make sure you have, um, you can't get it here, obviously, but I would try to uh, make sure you have some Leonardo Bears, so you might want to go back to a previous area that has Leonardo Bears and make sure you have four of them. And maybe a Bodhi Bracelet as well. Other than that, I don't think we really need anything else, so for now, anyway, so. Let's see if you guys say anything. I don't think you guys have anything new to say. I'll skim you guys really just to make sure. Nope, nothing from you. Dam of nobility. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the same. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off Amon. Let's show that guy off really quick. So yeah, now we can transform to Amon. He's neutral elemental. Um, he's a really good uh, fusion to use for basically the rest of the game if you want to just don't have to worry about strengths or weaknesses. Um, I still like the fire one just from rage and and you know his extra charge or whatever. But um, Amon is very solid too. The God of Wrath, comprising all classes, has immense power, but uh, that. Only, but it only leads to those with strong wills that aren't seduced by the power of destruction. By the power of the dark side. And yeah, we can also raise him up. Right now he's only got, uh, um... He's only got the, uh, uh is it Demon Rays right now? Let me check real quick. Yeah, he's only got Demon Rays, but you can give him, like, the end and a couple... I think he's got two abilities you can unlock from levels, so... I'll give him a couple levels. Yeah, now we can use Mind and Body Revival from him. So, what's that one? Fully restores HP and awakens one's unconscious allies. This is a healing event. Too bad it's really, his stuff's really expensive. So, the last one you can get is called The End. So, I won't level that up now, but... Since I'll probably end up using Amon a lot outside of the Fire one, we'll probably end up leveling him up, so... But yeah, we need to find a way to infiltrate the castle. So, let's see if anyone has anything to say. The slur is acting as if nothing's wrong, but you must be worried about the princess. I really feel for him. Oh yeah, the Tsar Nicol Nicholas is here, so... Anything to say? Nope. He talks about winter. Actually, ha didn't, uh, didn't Rasputin say he hypnotized Edgar? Is Edgar here? He's not here. Where'd the, where'd the old man go? We must find him. Well, anyway... Okay, wait, wait. What we need to do is we need to go to where uh, Anastasia ran to Rasputin the first time. So we need to go back to that little place near the bridge. Okay, that's the same as before. We've already done that dog, so we don't have to do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that different? There will be a great banquet at the palace tonight. Victory reception. There will be a foreign guest of honor as well as the usual aristocrats. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, if any reason to somehow sneak in. Eh, yeah, you already told me about that, yeah. The secret. I don't know if it's the victory celebration or what, but I drink more than usual today. What a great day! <laughs> okay, he does the same thing. So, alright, let's go. Here. Yuri, Yuri! Huh? That voice? Are you doing the Kudelka thing? 
Well, not quite. Oh, Yuri, I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Did something happen? You resurrected Amon, didn't you? I think it's Amon, but I'm... You bet. Now I can finally give Rasputin what he's been begging for. Blammo! <laughs> Bam smack straight to the moon! That must be why. Huh? Why what? This whole world has been shaking. It's been coming in really strong waves, like it's filled with life or something. I feel forces coming from different class doors, and Ama must have summoned some really powerful fusion monsters. I think the spirits of the six classes will lend you even greater powers if they got the chance. Got the chance? Greater powers? That's right. Look for something like symbols that represent them. Something like that. If you find anything like that, you should check the altar stones again. Okay. Well, I'll keep trying to find out about that creepy tree. See you. Hey, Gene. Symbols of the six spirits, huh? Okay, so what that basically means is now we can upgrade to level three fusions, but we need to find unique items in the game called soul drops to unlock these things, which we don't have any right now. We'll eventually be able to get them. So just like in the last game. Are you all right? You just suddenly collapsed all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm fine. It was just Jean calling me. That's all. Yeah, just like you, you want to do every day. Jean? <laughs> she gave me a clue about how to release my power. I'm really grateful. Okay. Anyway, let's go down the stairs. Going up the stairs and going down the stairs. What the? I've been waiting for you. I'm Prince Yusupov. I'll show you the way up to the Winter Palace. This way, then. Once you get through here, you'll come out in a secret room in the palace. You must hurry. The banquet will begin shortly. And with that, Yusupov brings us to the Gallery of the Dead. I'm not sure about this. Oh yeah, Yuri's afraid of ghosts for some weird reason. This passage was made over a hundred years ago. Not even Rasputin knows about it. It's the only way to get inside the palace unnoticed. Thank you, Prince Yusupov. Not at all. The Tsar will be overjoyed when he sees you're okay. Prince Dmitri will be waiting for you in the room on the other side. Please look after the princess. Don't worry! We'll take care of her! Guy, you haven't said much in, in, in the last, like, so many episodes, Joaquin. Or very little. I'll keep guard at the entrance here. Yeah, unfortunately the game is kind of focused on certain characters more than others. Okay, Anastasia. Let's go see your dad. Okay. Okay, so anyway, let's go back up the stairs really quick before we go on, though. Okay, let's see. If we check here, we find a mana seed inside. Okay. Do you have anything else to say, Yusupov? Please look up to the princess. But yeah, I get a mana seed there. Okay, and there should be a skeleton here if we examine him. Pure white bones from a former cradle around an odd-looking book. And here we get Nibelong scene number eight, for uh, which uh, powers up the Geistbenst ability for uh, Karen. So let's take a look at that. Scene number eight. Manuscript of Wagner's opera, The Ring of the Nibelung. The eighth chapter sees a battle between Siegfried and Mime, the guardian who wishes to kill Siegfried. All right. Let's go ahead and save it. Now right, let's take a look at these. Hmm, what the? Huh, the gate is down. Looks like this is as far as we can go. What, we got stopped already? Yeah, that was fast. I bet we can open it with this lever. Look, it has the same symbol on it. That's not a symbol. It's a perfectly good Cyrillic character. How do you read it? You're not very scholarly, are you? Alpha, or I actually don't know what that actually means. I've never studied Cyrillic, so you'll have to. But anyway, it's is red death. Okay, so thanks for the the uh, language lesson, I guess. The symbol is duh, pronounced or the symbol is uh, pronounced duh, huh? Try moving the lever. Hey, it opened. I get it. All we have to do is move the lever with the same symbol. The gate opens. Well, you could just said that. I am a moron, you know. It's not a symbol. It's a letter of the Russian alphabet. Yeah, the Russian alphabet is kind of gobbledygook anyway. Ooh, oh, sorry, Russian people. Sorry. Oh, ouch. The truth hurts. Nah, uh, any, any, 
any uh, language looks weird from another culture's perspective. I just like making fun of them. It's like making fun of the French. It's just too easy. Anyway, here we get a uh, terror route. And we get a combat. All right. We only got a couple enemies in here. Most enemies will be in the Gallery of the Dead section. So, all right. So we got Jack and Jill went up the hill to get a pail of water. Then one fell down, stumbling, breaking his crown, and then they had to do it again or something like that. It's been forever since I've read it. Anyway, yeah, this ain't the Jack and Jill from your fairy tales, huh, Miss uh, Turner? Anyway, Jack here. He has 90 HP, 111 MP. He's fire elemental, lightweight. He's got 150 experience drop, one soul, 220 cash. Drops talismans of luck. He can rare drop mana seeds. He's immune to poison, deep poison, paralysis, seal, KO, P defense down, S attack down, evade down, and HP down. And then Jill here is 90 HP, 111 MP, water, heavyweight, 158 experience, one soul, 220 cash drop, can drop talismans of luck, can also rare drop pure seeds, um, is immune to poison, D poison, paralysis, KO, P attack down, P defense down, S defense down, HP down, and uh, evade down. Let's go to. Actually, we could go ahead and show off Amon. Yeah, he's 5 uh, SP per turn, so. Uh, let's see. And yeah, you can use uh, Demon Rays, which is just a really big ray attack. Kind of pricey, though. But it does a lot of damage, so that's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, I need to take... Well, I don't have to take pictures of these guys, but I'm going to. Now you go ahead and just take a snapshot. Yeah, I don't care I combo break. Ow. Man, they really got hit me bad. Holy crap. Uh Let's at least combo with uh, Lucia. Well, no, Lucia, I'm probably just going to have her use uh, oil just to unlock it. So. Might as well start unlocking some of her oils. I mean, I know what they do, but I'm just going to lock them for ease of remembrance for myself. So. All right. So that heals. Basically, that's a regenerative heal. So that way we'll get a couple of uh, free heals from that. So let's go ahead and take a picture again. Now look this way. But yeah, it's a heal and a regenerative, so which is a really nice combo. The only problem with heals is that it doesn't work on Lucia. It only works on everyone else. Yeah, they give you a physical defense. So, eh, let's go ahead and use a tarot card, see if we can get lucky. Because it's an easy battle anyway, so. Oh, well, there you go. It's only going to work on Lucia, but, or, in, all right, there we go. Since, uh, since tarot cards really don't give you anything, like, um, they don't cost anything, there's really no reason not to use them, at least maybe at the end of a battle. I mean, you can only use them once, but still. Yeah, most of these guys are pretty easy, though. Might as well get her that affinity, because she has to be part of the combo to get the affinity, so. I haven't used Joaquin in a while anyway. <laughs> you still think you can beat me? I guess not. Yeah, not to, uh, well, they're only terrible when they actually get you like all at once. Then it can be kind of annoying, I guess. So, but anyway. Uh okay. Uh Let's go this way first. Sorry, just looking at my notes here. So sometimes I like get a. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah. Look at all these skeletons over here. Kind of reminds me of the um, 
catac or not catacombs, the, uh, oh, is it the catacombs? Yeah, it is catacombs of France. I've never been there, but I know. But anyway, get a, uh, uh, lottery ticket here, so. Anyway, we also want to go here and flip this switch, which is the, um, uh, let's see. That's E, or it's red as, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. It says E, that's why it's pronounced yeah. Yeah, let's move that lever. I think I heard a gate open in the distance, so. Okay, let's go back this way. I think I want to go yeah, north. And if I check over here, we find the magician card. Alright, let's take a look at that. Uh, the magician, where are you? There he is. MP consumption is cut in half. Nice. Too bad it's it's a crapshoot, but some say it shows a fool, not a wizard. Upright, it suggests imagination, but reversed immaturity, destruction, and maturity, destruction. Reduces MP used in battle by half. So, which is nice if it activates and you can get, but the thing is, it, there's no way to ever tell, so. That's the only thing I, have, I, I don't like about the tarot system is that like I said, if you could control the tarot, but the thing is, they're so powerful, so controlling them would be a bit insane, so. But anyway, yeah, this is the yeah gate right there, so. But anyway. Oh, we got a new enemy here. So I was about to skip this one because I got surrounded, but, you know. You do what you can, I guess. Yeah, I, and I still don't have the item that gives you, that prevents back attacks, or at least, uh, at least lowers the possibility of it. It's worse with magic users, because they really get you. Yeah, skeletons make an appearance again, except these guys are called Agony. So, Agony, they have 100 HP, they have no MP, they're earth elemental, they're lightweight, they have a 165 experience, one soul, they drop 234 cash. They can drop terror seeds, they don't have any rare drops, and they're immune to poison, D poison, paralysis, KO, P attack down, P defense down, S defense down, evade down, and HP down. So, yeah, I hate getting back attacked. I almost wish Yuri had, like, um, multi-hit spells outside, because his main, his main thing is hitting everyone, basically. Uh, trying to see if anyone's got a, a good... Nah, that guy was separate, uh, separate, so. I just see if there's anyone that's really grouped together for the purposes of magic. Yeah, nope. How about you? Ow! You're just... You're just out of the way. That's annoying. I hate that. <laughs> Not much I can do about that. Alright, fine. I guess I'll finish you off, I guess. Might go ahead and use the uh, the one oil again, so. Did I ever show up the album of Aqua Rise? I don't think I ever did. Oh no, I did once. Never mind, I already showed that off. Uh, could heal. Nah, nah, we'll just, uh, we'll just shoot. I'll go ahead and use uh, aromatherapy again, just to get a... Uh... Ah! Eh, I should have just gone for regular, not critical. I hate when I do that. Ow. Fine. Now yeah, we could just arc. Well, you know what? I'll cover you two together and have you aromatherapy again, so. Yeah, just hit it. I don't care. <laughs> just hit the dang attack. I think we actually hit all the enemies at this place, actually. So I don't have to worry about, uh, um...
didn't want to waste her. Eh, we'll just now we'll just have her cast a spell. I was gonna I was gonna attack, but I forgot she didn't. She's not you know very strong, so. That way I don't get hit anymore. There we go. But yeah, that's all it for the, all the new enemies here, so. <laughs> you still think you can beat me? Yeah, most dungeons don't have a lot of characters in them, so. Usually it's like a handful and that's it, so now I can cut the rest of them out, so. But if we head over this way. What the that's scary. Look at that thing. Well, it's a new uh, wolf bout for Blanca, so let's go ahead and... Uh, for this one, you want to have a uh, Bodhi bracelet if you've got it. Uh, other than that, I would give whatever whatever you know helps with the uh, defense and stuff like that for this character, because this is a yeah new wolf bout. Uh, he is Dark Elemental. So let's look at Cress really quick. You have... You have Holy Edge, so we're good there. And your heal is, uh, cure is a little bit cheaper, so... And you've got Rage as well. Well, depending on what happens, so... Uh, but since... After that, he's really not... As long as you get rid of his, uh, Paralyzation, you're... He's pretty straightforward, so... Uh, okay. Yeah, we're good. So we'll Rage... Uh, we'll, uh... Just rate Holy Raise him. Or Holy Edge him and Rage him. What the? Where you... Where'd you come from? Did you come from Resident Evil? Woo! Um, another, another. You're a zombie. Never thought I'd run into a half dead wolf. Half dead. Wrong. I'll never die. I love the taste of live wolf flesh. I ate so much, I became immortal. And so you're just gonna hang around this world forever, huh? Poor guy. I'll help him rest in peace. If you refuse to die, let me give you a little healthy paw. You look pretty tasty. I lap you up. Guts, fur, bones, and all. Uh, we're playing the wrong series. For boss time against Necros, the, uh, the, uh, undead dog, I guess, so... All right, let's go ahead and uh, holy edge ourselves and then rage. But yeah, since we were immune to paralysis, we don't have to worry about worry about his attacks now. Yeah, so he doesn't do that mu that much damage in terms of uh, attacks, so. Oh, I think my I think my controller side are going a little wonky there. Might need a good might need a new tr uh, charge. Uh oh, dark claw. Scary. Yeah, look how much damage we're doing to him. So. He's a bit of a challenge, but I think we can we can handle this guy. No. Oh. Sorry, give me a second. I'm gonna sw change out the controller really quick. This one's starting to go bad, so. Alright. Um, do I wanna go and heal myself? We could probably do one more attack and then heal. Ah, oh, it's so close to finish him off too. Could I finish him off in one more hit? Probably, but I'm gonna go and heal myself just in case. So. Yeah, I probably could have beaten him, but it would have been like every other time I fought one of those dogs that I would always, uh. Um. Yep. Oh well, whatever. Not a big deal. I always run it so close. Good boy! Anyway, we got Talisman of Mercy from Necros there. 
I don't know what you get if you do, if you get perfect rings. Unfortunately, some of these guys I actually don't know. Some of them are messed with it enough. My body is crumbling. I'm I'm gonna die. Die with dignity. That's the way of the wolf. And thus, Necros disappears, and our Soul Comet powers up. Yeah, never, you can't fight this guy ever again. He just disappears, so. Well, anyway. Alright, let's go down this way. And we're gonna hit this switch over here. Man, this game keeps, like, like uh, sneak attacking me, huh? Anyway. This is that character. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, right, that's gay. It should be guh, so what should we do? Flip it. Flip it to switch! I bet that opened up a gate somewhere. Alright, let's go back to that one. So now we want to go straight up north. I mean, we could have fought Necros now, I guess, but it doesn't matter when. At some point, it'd be done. But anyway, if we go up this way, we'll find... A treasure chest here with a Lajal Le chest. Lorage, sorry. I was looking at the translation, I was like, hmm. Anyway, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, where are you? Lorage well, gives you Arc Rage, so it can increase rage for everyone. Although I tend to only use rage for like one or two characters, but that eh, still gives it for everyone. So, But anyway, if we go up here, yeah, this one's easy to miss too. We find the Ring Soul again. Hey, already. That was pretty quick. I am the Ring Soul, the will of the Judgment Ring, the administrator of all fate. You're doing a good job, but hasn't your image changed somehow? I can see it. I can see your future. This I entrust to you. Another attack boost. Sure, thanks. Maybe I was too nervous or something, but my performance was far too stilted before. Now it's really flowing. Flowing? It just sounds a little short to me now. And what about all that stuff you used to say afterwards? Of course, I nearly forgot. Guess I got a little too relaxed. Here goes. I will appear to you again to bestow upon you more power. But beware, I am always watching. Watching to see if you're truly the one to command destiny. Sure thing. Okay, see you then. Wait, next time, why don't you try impersonating your wife or something? I want to see what she's like. Huh? Impersonating my wife? When I'm being the ring soul? Yeah, you can do it, right? You're an actor, aren't you? I wouldn't exactly say an actor. I mean, I've always been the ring soul, but I guess I might be able to. You can. You can. I'm sure of it. This is going to be great. O okay, then. I'll start practicing. See you. Bye. This is a weird relationship we have with the Ring Soul. I know it's supposed to be jokey because this guy kind of almost breaks the fourth. Oh, Joaquin is a golden bat now. Mm, do I want to save him for the boss? Uh, the only problem I have with Joaquin is just his low HP values. That's all. Well, that's a tough one. I might swap him out maybe if that's the case. I mean, how many turns does he have in a golden bat form? Eh, maybe just a couple of turns. Eh, nah, I'll, I'll probably be fine. I'd rather him be in Grand Papillon form, but that's like so hard to like, uh, like set up without using items. You know what I mean? So, uh, I don't want to give that to Lucia. I guess. Well, I guess we'll give it to Anastasia just to give her some little extra hits. Oh yeah, I haven't. I've gotten. Uh, I haven't been using my. Uh, my hit strikes. Let's uh, let's put those on Joaquim, I think, or at least even it out a bit. So, and we'll give you hit area expand. Yeah, I haven't been getting those drops lately for those. So, there. Right, let's go back. So, all right, we need to go back to where we found that one card, the Magician's card, which is over here. But there was a gate there before, but there's no reason to go through it, because, you know. So let's just keep going this way. If we go over here, we get a Leonardo's Bear. So if you haven't had any, any or nothing, you can get it here. So, alright. Anyway, let's keep going down. Isn't that a strange little room here? Ooh, hello. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and save it. Yeah, we can see the, uh, see that little switch there and everything with that, so. Hmm. Now let's take a look at these, uh, coffins here. 
Yeah, hello. Look, there's something written on this wall. Huh? What does it say? Entry 1. I lost my home and wealth to political maneuverings. Now in my days, rotting away here. Or, sorry, entry 1. All I have left is this locket to keep safe from my mother. It's all that keeps me going. Entry 2. The others, who have been here longer than I have, asked if I wanted to try and escape with them. I politely refused, even if I could get out of here. What do I have left in this world? Entry 3. I haven't been here very long, but my body is already beginning to rot. It's difficult to write on this wall. Reminds me of the Resident Evil 4 Ichi Tasty uh, line. The others stole my locket from me before they escaped. I wonder if they managed to reach above ground. My keepsake, all that I have left. If only I could have it back to cover me in death. Whoops. Oh, ah! Didn't mean to do that, sorry. So, a sorrowful air drifts from the stone. Hmm. How about this one? Anything? Nope. But if we check here, we get the Andromalius crest. So let's take a look at that one. So, uh, Andromalius. Uh, it'll give you bright light and bright crime. Starting to get all these combos of uh, of abilities and stuff like that. So, okay. Well, anyway, let me save a save again. So, not that I need to every time. Just once. I have a bad habit of doing that just to make sure. So, okay. Let's go down this way. Go this way. And if we check this, we get seal the seal too. So, it's been a while since we got none. Well, actually, it hasn't been that long ago since we had that. So. Anyway, let's keep going down. There's crazy skeletons here. Anyway, we check these guys. We get Talisman of Luck. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way first. All right, Yuri, Joachim, and uh, uh, Karen gained a level there. So if we check this thing. We can get a strong awaits. I'll use them eventually, but I like kind of saving them for later, so. Alright. Let's go this way first. And if we go here, we get a pla uh, plas plastron, so. We've already got those, but. Uh, I didn't want to wait too long to buy Pastrons. I guess I don't need to buy... I don't know. I have a bad habit of wanting to buy stuff when we get it. When I could wait. Oh, well, whatever. Hey, look at this character. This one's really Russian-y. What are you talking about, russian -y? That's uh, B, but it reads B. What do you know? Learn something to do every day. Now then. Let's try moving. That was pretty loud noise. I think the gate must have been pretty close. Yeah, it's just, it's like right down this path, so. Yeah, right over here, so. Uh, P, that's P, right? That's P, it's written as air. What? The Russian language is weird, man. Huh. Well, you don't have to get so uppity about it. Uh, tss, let's hurry up and move it. Damn, how many of these things are there? Stop your grinding. Get get moving. But anyway, if we move up here, this will take us to the original intersection we were at earlier. Yeah, see here. I ended up getting a no damage uh, um, ring for that one. The only problem is is that uh, last battle, Grand Papillon appeared, and I wasn't paying attention, so I lost lost the ability to use Papillon because he was just Papillon like last battle. As you can see there, yeah, when the uh, rhythms like. Uh, merge together, they become Papillon. So I missed out on that. So, whoops. Oh, well, this is what I get for not paying attention. Not much I can do about that. It happens eventually. It just takes a while, though. Anyway, there's a switch here. How do you read this one, Your Highness? Are you making fun of me? B is a lineation or consonant weakening symbol. It doesn't have a reading. Well, fancy that. Alright, let's try moving it. Huh, I heard something back by the entrance. Maybe the gate near the entrance open. Let's go see. Yeah, I can't believe I missed out on using Papillon. Oh, well. Because he's really, really powerful. Ah, they killed Lucia. You punks. Anyway. Yeah, she, she took some damage during that last fight. 
Although I probably should use a tent just because I'm out of almost MP. Although I could use mana seeds. I've got plenty of them. But anyway, let's head back to the room. I got to save it again. Okay, now let's go back this way. Because now that we hit all those switches, so. And we'll go down south as far as we can. Okay, let's see. This way, and this way. And we'll find here. But I was going to say there's an item here before I got attacked, but okay. This person is holding something. Really? Let me see. Hey, you're right. It looks like a necklace. Take it. Yoink! We got the silver locket for that, so now we can go back to the to the coffin room. So let's take a look at that. Uh, let's see. Where are you? There it is. Silver locket. Locket discarded in a corridor. Inside is the portrait of an elegant looking lady. The dark patches that tarnish the silver suggest the item is very old. We even get to see the picture of the old lady. Now, what you're supposed to do is go past this uh, gate and uh, it'll take you back to the coffin room faster. I accidentally forgot to hit the switch for it. It's north of the coffin room, but for whatever reason, I forgot to like, I forgot to hit it before moving on. Oh well, not a big deal. It's about the same length to get to the back to the coffin room anyway so oh it's probably a little bit faster to go this way but the other way I mean but not a big deal alright anyway let's give the silver locket to uh, the guy sorrowful air drifts from the stone see Yuri let's give him back his locket he's kind of a waste isn't it no of course I was planning to hey the mood of this place suddenly cleared don't you think yeah that ghostly atmosphere is gone I built a sentinel was trapped here all this time. I'm sorry for what my ancestor did to you, sir. Well, you should be. You should be sorry. Anyway, it was like Joaquin put, went back into normal mode again. So, um, do I want to heal now? Nah, let's see. Now nah, there should be a save point uh, next. Usually, there's save points next to bosses anyway. So, oh yeah, let's put the switch. Even though I don't need it anymore. Let's see. A is read as I. That's A. It reads as ah. Like ah, real monsters. Dot, dot, dot. Let's try moving something. <clears throat> he said, let's try moving it. Sorry. Okay, on to the next one. Well, we've already got everything, so we can just. I guess one last little uh, attack before we get out of here, because yeah, we're at the end, so yeah, not a bad little dungeon. Yeah, there's the chest. Yeah, see, remember this room? So, ah, Dimitri, I oh, you meet it. You're not hurt. Well then, this way. Well, what way do you want me to go? Are you just gonna tell me where to go? So, no, yeah, well, anyway. Noblemen of Russia, greetings. After having visited our young troops on the front line, one thing I can say to you with complete confidence is that the brave soldiers of the Russian army march on the road to a total and complete victory. Well, everyone, in celebration of the victory to come and the eternal empire of Russia, let us Wine, dine, and dance!
what a fool I've been. Anastasia! <sighs> you... You're alive, Princess Anastasia. We were so worried. Hey, step back. Thanks for worrying, Mr. Rasputin. As you can see, I'm quite well. Princess Anastasia has returned. And welcome home, Daddy! But... but how? I had a great adventure with these folk. We visited foreign lands, and saw all sorts of strange and wonderful things. <laughs> oh, is that right? These are the pictures I took. It's a present for you, Daddy. Well, didn't I do a good job? That last one almost cost me my life. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I see. You did a very good job. My lord. Hmm? What about these rogues? Oh, yes, thank you. Leave them to me, your majesty. Someone here has plotted to kill me, Tsar Nicholas of Russia, and my family. And that someone is... My counselor, Grigory Rasputin. My lord, what do you mean? You can drop the pretense. <laughs> My daughter has brought proof of your treachery. This photograph here proves it! Hm. Hmm? <gasps> Why, you... <gasps> Don't move! Let her go. This is between you and me now. You'll pay. Mm. What? Lord Rasputin, now's your chance. Guards, after them! It's all right. Everything's fine now. My lord. Say nothing. I understand. Idle hands are the devil's tools. I wish to thank you. It's fine. But it's not over yet. We need to get somewhere safe.
guess he's here. Father, mother, find some place safe. Let's go, Yuri. We're going? What about the palace? <sighs> Come on! We've got to find a way to save this country! <sighs> Anastasia! Oh, man. I'll protect the princess. Don't you worry. I'm counting on you. Could Anastasia be their leader? I... I think she might be. Sorry, Yuri, you've been relegated to, uh, to you know, sub-character or whatever. Apparently Anastasia is the leader of this group. Anyway, we gotta chase after Rasputin and get out and, uh, and uh, defeat him before his uh, plans come to fruition anymore anyway, so... Where is he? Rasputin went down to the first floor and is heading for the courtyard. That's a dead end. What's he thinking? Oh, I think he's thinking to get out of here. He, he's... Jesus! It's the cops! Get out of here! Woo, 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 woo. I know you're supposed to go downstairs. I thought... I forgot if there was other characters up here. Nope. Okay. Sorry I was thinking if there was anyone else, so... Yeah, luckily... Yeah, I don't know what's attacking the castle. Something is, so... You want to stir? You rescued him right off towards the courtyard. All right, all right, fine. Yeah, we can't go this way for whatever reason. So, not that there's anything there. Just... All right, hey, bros, how's it going? I'm taking a little time to recharge my batteries, and I'll come up with a new idea. Hey, what's going on here? All the troops are going crazy, and it's growing with monsters outside. Huh? You want something? Sure. Uh, let's see. Well, really, the only things really I would uh, buy really would be uh, um, if you can buy them at the time, buy Leonard's uh, bears for the next battle if you don't have those yet. That's really all I'd really suggest. Um, might keep Karen out of this fight just because of the elemental dealings. Um, Anastasia actually wouldn't be a bad character for the fight, mainly for role-playing purposes, but because she's water elemental. So she would actually be solid for a uh, choice. So let's uh, go and uh, tent it up. I need to buy more tents now that I gotta remind myself. Don't need it right now, but I need to buy more tents. Uh, I'm trying to think what I want to use for this fight. Actually, what we've got right now might actually be fine. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. So let's uh, change out the change out our defenses. Go ahead and put Leonard Bears on everyone. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, even though it hits his, lowers his attack a bit, but that's fine. Uh, there's no monsters in here, technically, so I can actually technically uh, get rid of the uh, uh, pedometer for this thing, so. Okay. Before we go on, though. Actually, no. Let's save it. I don't know why I was not saving it there for a second. Okay. And then there should be a chest here. Yep, there it is. Alright, we get the eye post crest. This is probably one of the most useful crests in the game, at least at this part, because... Let me show it off. Ipost gives you Art Gale, which means everyone can get their time shortened, which is awesome. So we'll have to, uh, let me, uh, let me remove all from her and Lucia. Yeah, they get, they have a pretty easy way to, like, remove press. Actually, I might just do the whole party. Because I need a couple of, uh, uh crest. Uh, let's see. So let me give, uh, Arc. Art Gale to her. Lucia will give you. We'll give you like the Arc Rage and stuff like that. It's just so you can buff. We basically we want a bunch of uh, buffing. Um, do, who do I give? Well, you can heat Ill via the uh, aromatherapies. So maybe give you the Arc here. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Arc really Rage might be just the best. Oh yeah, someone needs heat. Heat. Uh, Heat, uh, heat edge. So we'll give that both uh, to uh, Anastasia and. Uh... 
so that way they can buff that. Um, let's see, Arcgale. I should maybe give Barrier. Someone might be good for Arc Barrier. Where are you at? There it is, Arc Barrier. I don't think there's really anything else I need to equip. I might equip some stuff just to double up on things, maybe. If I've got anything else to really double up on. Yeah, I don't really need an entrance. Yeah, I'll double up on stuff that gives them a... There's the other heat edge thing. Oh. oh, there we go. And we'll give you like raise up or something with that. We're mainly gonna have you attack anyway, so. Cause I don't, this fight I don't actually need um, multiple hits, unless you wanna get bonuses for that, but that's not really a big deal for me. Here it goes for, well, not really boss time, against Hatons themselves, or Hurtons or whatever. These guys have 99 HP, 112 MP, they're dark elemental, they're lightweight, they have an 180 experience drop, one soul drop, 250 cash, drop mana seeds, they have no rare items, and they're immune to poison, D poison, paralysis, KO, P attack down, S attack down, evade down, HP down. So, hmm. well, they're going to get a turn on me anyway, so at least we can get a combo in with me and Anastasia since we're right next to each other, so. Might as well go with Amon. Ooh, could, well, hmm. Could use some magic just to get a decent amount of damage off of them. Yeah, let's see if that'll finish them off. I mean, it's a bit of overkill for these guys, but. <laughs> solar beam or solar flare, except a lot more extreme. Now, of course, I kill the two guys that aren't. Uh... Have I snapshot these guys yet? No. Yeah, might as well do it. Now look this way. Yeah, go and buff yourselves. Why not? Sure. Huh, that'll work. Might not do enough damage to these guys. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, never mind. Well, uh, actually, does Joaquin do enough damage by himself? Maybe if I crit it, but I don't think I will. Ah! Ugh. I hate when I do that. Should have just hit him. Oh well, all right. Hey, if you don't want to, if you don't want to attack me this turn, I'll take it. So this is what I get for trying to do combo. Or perfect, perfect hit. You know. All right, got a level for Anastasia and Joaquin. All right, before we go up there, I'll get a Talisman of Mercy here. And then we can go through this door over here. There's really no reason to. I think it just ties in the same hallway. I think there's more patents here, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Actually, what if, actually could I run a while? Yeah, well, uh, I'll show off this one battle, too. I was going to skip it, but...
Am I only going to get two? Mm, it's almost not worth it for two. Because that spell costs so much. Eh, I really don't want to be wasting too much magic, though. But then again, they're going to be hitting me. Well, I could always heal with, like, uh... Um, uh, like my other characters, like Blocker or something like that. But anyway, yeah, if you go through that door, it just takes us back into that one hallway, so there's really nothing there. These guys seem to like buffing before anything else, if anything. Oh, there we go. I should cast some magic on me. Now let's see if we can get a... She has delay on, I believe, so... Nah, it didn't hit him. Or it didn't activate. You guys are doing more damage to me than the previous group. finish off the ones that are weak, so. I just need to be getting her, her uh, perfect, perfect run or whatever, so. Oh yeah, might as well combo. Just to get the, you know, their affinity up. Although their affinity goes up more if you actually, you know, combo with them. There you go. Oh, I feel so much better. There you got man, see though out of it. Okay, let's just let's just go fight the guys. So, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I unequipped everyone with that, so I need to equip them with something that actually. There it is. Here, we'll just we'll just cast magic with blocker or someone then on these guys on around us. Um, probably not gonna be attacking very, or casting spells with Yuri. I probably just gotta physically attack with him. That's what I tend to do. All right, Yuri gained a level from that. Oh yeah, make sure. Oh yeah, before I go further, need to make sure I have. Oh yeah, we'll give you a hit here. Expand one out. Uh, we want to have at least P defense and S defense down. So. P e defense and S defense. I mean, you could put on the other characters, I guess. I guess I will. It's just I'm not really gonna attack with them, so. But those two will affect the boss, so. All right, we'll see you gained the level, so let's give uh, some mana to Yuri, and actually, let's. Forgot to do this, but I need to give some fire magic to my magic users here so they can actually do some extra damage. So let's give you actually let's give Red Blaze to uh, Lucia there, and then we'll give you the. Uh, let's see, where's the other fire one? Right here somewhere. There it is, Red Rave. Is there another Red Rave spell? Did I, did I get that one yet? No, I don't think that. I don't think I did, but I'm just double checking. Oh, I did. Nah, it's not like I really need to have it be reduced anyway. So we'll have enough MP for this fight anyway. So all right, let's do this. All right, Rasputin. Time to take you down, v Veronica. Hmm. Asmodeus Rasputin. I thought it was Grigori, but anyway. Veronica, you stop them. I'll set up a strong, a stronghold in Petropavlovsk fortress. Yes, Lord Rasputin. Out of the way, Veronica. Tisk tisk. I'll see you in hell. You can't match this power of mine. A gift from Lord Rasputin himself. 
You know, it's finally time to spank and whip you, lady, for boss time against Veronica, the Night Queen, or that's what she's called in this case. So, all right, Night Queen has 2,380 HP, 420 uh, HP, or MP. She's got, she's water elemental light uh, weight. She's got 9,900 9, 9, experience, 110 souls, 8,000 cash. She can drop the Hagenta Crest in the Moon Soul. She's immune to poison, de-poison, paralysis, seal, petrify, KO, P attack down, S attack down, delay, slow, evade down, and HP down. She can do insta death on you, so that's why we won the Winiro's Bears. If you get high combos, you get extra cash, low enemy turns, extra soul, and ring perfection, extra experience. All right, let's switch to Barbaria here. This will help us with our damage with extra charge. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, finish off you. Know, we should be able to do it in one go because how much strength I've got. As long as they don't damage, dodge the attacks anyway. All right, let's go ahead and cast uh, um, Archigale. That will get our turns faster. Yeah, I'm fine with you breaking the combo. Uh, let's go ahead and get Arc Rage going. Mainly for uh, Joaquim and uh, Yuri. Very good. Haha, ha, I've got a, I've got protection against that lady. Yeah, she whips me in her own form, huh? Anyway, well, let's go in energy charge. And then we'll go ahead and arc barrier. That way we'll take less damage from magic attacks, because she can basically use almost every elemental attack and she'll take advantage of it for sure. Um, I was gonna say I was gonna attack, but it's like, or I was gonna combo, but I'm gonna heat heat a uh, heat a uh, edge with uh, Anastasia, so so not bad damage. Oh yeah, I'll uh, I'll hit her with the uh, snapshot here in a second as soon as I buff everyone. So. Ow. This is why we wanted a. Uh... Oh, he got, got comboed with someone. Oh, or someone else got a comboed anyway, so. Oh, nice. Look at that damage. Holy crap. Yeah, baby. Alright, who got comboed together? Was it just me and her? Well, I'm gonna cast a heat edge on um, Joaquin there. Now yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get some magic damage in. We'll do uh We'll do snapshot later. Oh finally we got the special defense off. How about the physical one, huh? Can we get the physical one? But anyway, it's there to charge again. Alright, more spells I can well I can always hit. Yeah, let's go ahead and red blaze it, I guess. I'll just do energy. Well, yeah, I'll probably just uh, uh, heal with a. Uh, heal with the uh, Anastasia, depending on who who is she hits. Yeah, see, she'll hit like basically. I could heal with a, uh, because I want to kind of take advantage of that combo there. So, yeah, I'll heal with uh, Lucia. Nice. 
Vala got the physical defense down on her, so. Oh, she's got, we're gonna get another turn anyway before that, so. Um, might be able to just do enough damage. I might be able to just afford to uh, just attack her at this point. We still do a lot of damage. Um, I was wanting to snapshot her. I could always heal with Joaquin, really, if it comes down to it, I guess. I mean, I don't need to snapshot her, but I'm going to do it anyway. You don't do enough damage, so I'll just have you heal uh, Anastasia. I mean, you get close to the damage, but it's not quite. Because she'll have hit someone with uh, magic or whatever, so. That's fine. Yeah, she's almost dead. Let's just finish her off. I almost finished her off within my within my um, my turns. So. All right, finish him off, Yuri. Yep. And thus the BDSM queen dies. Stay out of my way. Well, not anymore. She never comes back after this. But anyway, yeah, we get the... Uh... Oh, did we not miss it all? Huh. I didn't realize I didn't miss. Nice. We get a lot of experience for that, so... That'll work. Everyone should gain a level from that, so... Ooh, uh, stage are getting two levels. Oh. Lord Rasputin...
my shield. So much power. I suppose I have no other choice, huh? Come on! I have something to show you! The demon that dwells within me! <laughs> My lord and benefactor Asmodeus, it is time to fulfill the soul pact. Come to this world and take this place as your holy land. In the name of the sword sages, I summon you to this place. Isn't it a little early in the game for the floating battle fortresses of the final destinations? Hmm. What's that? That huge temple? Looks like the castle of Satan himself. Um, can it be, um, Satan? <laughs> no one's gonna remember that. It's unbelievable! <laughs> I guess Rasputin's pretty determined. Well, are we gonna end there? What else? Hold on, we can't afford any mistakes with this guy. We need to prepare. Okay. Yeah, I gotta prepare for the for the dungeon of this place, so. Alright, so before we continue on, let's look at that inventory we got from the battle. So we got the crest, we got the uh Hagati crest. Let's take a look at that. Where are you? Do, 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 do. There you are, Hagenti. Sorry, you get hail break and hail breeze from that one. And then we also got aroma oils. We also got the moon oil. The sweetness of sandalwood. Lang, lang, ylang, ylang. Patchouli combined in one aroma oil. All sort of secret effects occur if you mix it with other oils. Mm. Okay, so after that. All right, let's talk to, there's no guys actually in there, right? Yeah, we saved, uh, we saved Russia from Rasputin. Well, for now anyway, but uh, uh, maybe we've changed history. Yeah, of course. Right? I was just seeing if anyone else is actually in the rooms. I mean, most of the guests are probably gone, so it makes sense there's probably no one in there. So, okay. Yeah. By the way, Veronica's dead. She, she, she's gone for good. So, Zero the guard. Oh, uh, it's no use. I just can't, uh, can't do my job properly while I've got this. I'll keep wanting to look at. It. I don't want to let it go, but you've got to take it off me. Don't tell anyone about it, though. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's got a... He's got a, 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 a Mr. Card. So let's take a look at that. So, uh, What do you... He gave us the Mr. Swan. Uh-huh. The Master Donisir Kalpin performs Swan Lake alone. With skillful use of his pecs, he recreates the beating wings of a swan, making his audience swoon. 
Uh, phrasing? Anyway. <laughs> Alright. I don't think there's anyone over... I know there's some random guards in this place, but yeah, that guy gives us Mr. Stud card. Okay. Alright, let's go south. And over to the other wing. Yeah, no more monsters and stuff we have to fight around here, so no worries. This is clean up before we go to the next uh, the next dungeon. Imperial Guard Agori. I don't care what kind of horrible monster I have to face. I'm going to protect this castle to the end. Good for you, my friend. I'm not afraid. My job is to defend this Winter Palace. That's what I'm here to do. All right, Tolia. How about you, my friend? Not a gnome. Oh, sorry. Whoops. The Winter Palace is the pride of the Russian people. No monsters are getting in here. But what about people when they when they're revolutionizing? You know what I mean? Ah, uh, we'll just we'll just ignore that for now. So, all right. Anyway, what do you have to say, Akeem? I'll defend the East Hallway so you can steal snacks again in peace, Princess. But I think she's got other important things to do right now instead of steal stuff. So, hey, dude. Uh, Folkcraft or Zuvius. The people of Russia are so poor now. The culture's gone stale. We could. Oh, okay. Never mind. That he's, he's repeating dialogue. Yeah, actually, we can actually go into Rasputin's room now. We actually, every time we kept trying to check it out, we never really had a good chance to, to look into it. Hey, Dimitri. Monsters are swarming out to that freaky castle of Rasputin's. Our dwindling troops can't hold that long. Oh, yeah, they were fighting a war on the Western Front, too, so. And there's no way into it from the ground. We've got to think of a way to get in from the air. So. I mean, must never worry that they are under the service of their master. Oh, yeah, you're the lottery member, so. No, not right now. Nope, sorry. I don't need your services. Legitimate? Oh, well, it seems uh, just like every other room. Nothing really to it, huh? Just like every other room. Hm, weird. All right, wait, wait. Actually, I think it's uh. Actually, I think it's the next room. Now that I think about it. Never mind. First, I thought I thought it was in this room. It's in the next. It's a uh, later. It's on farther on down the hallway. So. Eh, is there no one here? I'm mainly just looking for dialogue right at this point. You have anything to say, Nicholas? Hello, sir. Emperor Nicholas II. I won't let that devil have his way with Russia, even if it kills me. By God, I won't run. I'll stand and fight. Well, yeah, let's just say history does, has different plans for you, Nicholas. Yeah, and if we ever talk to the mom, for whatever reason, we play as Anastasia. It's crazy outside the palace, sis. What's going on? My mother said I'm not supposed to leave my room. It's so blurry. Sorry, dude. Let's just say your history is also not very nice either. Anastasia, I suppose I owe you an apology, don't I? I'm sorry for being so cold to you. When you're back safe and sound, I'd love to hear all better travels. I'll be waiting for you. You know you're cheating on your husband with Rasputin, right? You know, are we just not gonna, we're just gonna forget that? All right. Although this game, this this game series makes it seems like Nicholas is like this wholesome dad character that cares about his daughter, but real history tells us differently. But uh, you know, I won't I won't bring it up if you want. Well, more so than okay, nothing here. I said I'm more checking for dialogue. I know this episode might be a little long, but that's fine. All right. Anyway, let's check out uh, Rasputin's bedroom. That yeah, was pretty straightforward. Anyway, what does he got here? He's got some tissues. Um, oh, yeah, this is where he and Veronica did the deed. So, uh, get that black light ready to go, folks. Uh, uh, um, 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 what now? What dropped here? Yeah, well, it is what... I mean, this game is kind of kitschy with what it is. So, he, anyway, we found a purple bondage on uh, Rasputin's bed. Veronica's bondage suit... <laughs> Bondage suits specifically designed and sized for Veronica. Those of less generous proportions will need to make some adjustments. Yeesh. <laughs> well, you know, there's someone that can actually make some adjustments. And, uh, yes, viewers, we are going to do what we're going to do, if you know what I mean. And you'll find out in a second how strange this will be. And there's the room. There's nothing in here. I just wanted to show it off, so... But anyway. Alright, see, I need to go back to the roof. Where we fought Veronica at. So yeah, that was the room with uh where we dealt with uh um 
Rasputin the first time where we found out we couldn't get past this magic shield. So. There, I'm just checking to see if there's any other people around here I can examine dialogue from that I might have forgotten. I said mo I think most of the people in town don't say anything new, but I'll I'll check with them too before we before we leave. Anyone in the uh... anyone hiding out of here? Nope. You can't go back to the dungeon though, so it isn't a one-time thing. So you can go back and get the items you might have missed the first time through. See no one in here. I'll defend the first floor hallway to death. To the death? You've been watching Prince of the Bride, haven't you, my friend? Yeah, I'll say no one else in these rooms. Okay, nope. Okay, but anyway, we want to go back to where we fought Veronica before, back on the the uh, roof. So. Actually, I never went down the hallway just to show off what's there. I mean, there's really nothing there, but... Yeah, the other doorway leads outside, see? So it's not... And yeah, another chance to get those treasures uh, if you missed them the first time through. I'll tell... I'll let you know if there's a dungeon you can't... You have to finish, or that you can't go back to for item purposes, so... Yeah, it should be over here I think there it is and we get the silver angel item for for checking back up here let's take a look at that silver angel a piece of paper with a charming picture a piece of paper with a picture of a baby angel it can't be used for anything but it's nice to look at something good might happen if you collect them hmm. we'll look at that for later but for now it'll be a while till we till anything comes with that so but best to get it now so all right, let's go outside and see what ha what's happened in the town, and see if we can find some new items and uh, something for something for our uh, favorite uh, vampire. You won't believe what he gets this time, viewers. Hmm. Yeah, he gets a lot of odd uh, odd uh, bric-a-brac in this game. That's for sure. I mean, it's entertaining, but. It's so weird, man. Anyway. Anyway, we can talk to the rest of the people in the, uh... I think that most of the people in the castle are out, out on this side, so... Yeah, what do you got to say? Uh, Carrington? I just barely joined the Imperial Guards the other day. Now I have to fight monsters already? Yeah, that's just a day in the life of an RPG guard, huh? Danilo. Hmm, that monster's nothing compared to my mom. I can, I can take care of it. Russian women, man. Be be wary, man. Yusupov, no monsters will get into the Winter Palace. Not by us. We'll stake our lives on it. Prosperous Gorby, this is an emergency. Special offer. Today only, I'll purchase some really rare goods. Yeah, you got a shop here, but uh, I don't think you really have anything that really warrants me buying from it. I mean, you got the Hellfang. Let's see. I mean, you got new equipment. I was just trying to think if it was something I needed right now or not. Yeah, you got a bit of everything, so... Alright. We'll come back later. I think I might have enough money for everything, though. Actually, I could uh, save it and go and buy this stuff now. Let's see... The thing is, though... Uh... See, we already... I think I already talked to that guy, didn't I, so... Yeah, we already talked to that guy, so... See if I talk to the guy on the other. Nope. Okay, we're good there then. Let's see. In the next dungeon, though, we get the Jupiter fan, so I don't have to buy that. Let's see what else do is in the next dungeon. Uh, I'm looking at the notes of uh, what we've. Uh, let's see, Jupiter fan. Was that that might be the only weapon that appears? Is the Jupiter fan? in the next chapter, so I could probably buy everything else. I'll come back later. I might do that at the beginning of the next episode. What 
What do you want? Veronica is dead. I see. You may leave now. By morning, Petrograd will be reduced to ashes. Do you have plans after that? No, I couldn't care less. Soon, my demon servants will bring death to all of Europe. After that, Asia. And finally, we will destroy America. Have your goals changed so much, Master? Goals? <laughs> I have no goals. There's no longer any need to rush. One hundred years, two hundred years, it doesn't matter at all. Time doesn't matter at all. What's wrong? You should be happy. You no longer have to toil in the dark like a thief. You'll soon have revenge. After my mother died and I was orphaned, it was you who had the Vatican accept me, Master. I have done my best since then to try to repay that debt. Yes, is that so? A sad story. But what of it? I saved you to use as my tool, not because I had any love for you. So you have no desire to rebuild Russia? After all the effort you spent in destroying her? Irrelevant. Why would I ever concern myself with such paltry matters? You were to succeed to the throne of Russia and become king of all Europe. What about those plans? You really are dense. I've disposed of such petty human concerns. For me, Snuffing out human life is nothing more than an amusement. You've been possessed by Asmodeus. <sighs> Why did you come here? Was it to anger me? Your little plan, I've known of it for a long time. To kill me after I become Emperor, you were planning on making yourself the new Tsar instead. Isn't that right? Yes. It is true I am merely a bastard son. But it is still my right to inherit the kingdom. <laughs> Who will believe you? My father. So it's revenge for your mother, eh? Yes. <laughs> You're a fool. Hmm? I came here to tell you something that you should already know. What is that? I'm more certain now than ever. I asked what it is! You cannot defeat Yuri. And what makes you say that? He's just a human. A human, but he conquered Amon's soul. Do you understand what that means? His willpower is simply extraordinary. Extraordinary, you say? The willpower of a human and the destructive power of a demon. It's those two things that make him worthy of his name, Godslayer. You may have the power of a demon, but your will is weak, and that is why you cannot win. Interesting. And you think that you can win? Yes. Why are you so sure? What do you really think a puny human like you can do, huh? Oh, I see. So that's it. So, you finally understand. 
<laughs> Good. So my true enemy was right here with me all along. We'll settle things between us later. But first, we'll have the Godslayer as a blood offering. Don't you love when villains go off and do their own little thing and we get little snippets of it? Yeah, I miss old-timey RPGs. But anyway, it looks like uh, Rasputin's got his own uh, own plans and Nikolas has his own plans. And man, we gotta put a stop to one of them at least. Rasputin must be planning to destroy the world with the satanic fort. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> oh, have mercy. What, have you been watching Full House recently? Help, I don't want to die. The monsters are attacking. Hmm. Yes, they seem to be. Yeah, but I'm just gonna chase after that guy. Well, we'll get him on the, we'll get him on the go around, and then we'll call it an episode, I think. Russia is at war with Germany right now. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, you think she'd have extra dialogue, being uh, you know, dealing with whatever she's dealing with. So, the den nobility at court are enjoy themselves now. What they? Oh, same thing as before. So, never mind. I guess a lot of people might have the same dialogue. So, okay. Well, yeah, that's the same. So. All right, well, you know what? I think I'll save a lot of that stuff for the next episode. So Rasputin now is in his tiny little fortress there. Will, the, with a, will Yuri and the crew be able to get through the, the fortress of Rasputin, find him, and finish him off for good? And what about Nicholas's plans? Find out next time in the next episode of Shadowheart's Covenant. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.